Hi everyone, welcome to SeniorGolfSource.com. My name is Brett Francisco. And before we get into today's content, please like and subscribe. If you see what we're doing on here is helping you, we'd love to hear from you. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about what seniors should look for in hybrids. Um, there's a couple different elements of the club design that will help you. So before we get into that, um, we want to talk about swing speed. We want to talk about how we should hit the hybrids. So when we're talking about the design of the hybrid, you know, there's a couple components that come into play. Just like any golf club, it has a head, it has a shaft, it has a grip. Basic, that's pretty straightforward. But the one big difference um, on the hybrid compared to hitting an iron is the loft of the number that you're hitting. So this is a four. The loft of this is 25 degrees. Now, depending on the company that you go with, it, there's variance between what static loft the actual club is going to be. So that might be something you want to look at and do some research on. So if you're maybe a low ball hitter, meaning that the trajectory of your shots traditionally are very low, you're going to want to jump in and look at what hybrids maybe yield the greatest lofts. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and insert a couple links here, a couple shots, um, notating our favorite picks, and we'll also talk about the, the static lofts of the club to help you kind of streamline your decision making on what brand you're going to go with. All right, so now that we've talked about loft and our top recommendations, um, you know, in the previous videos, I've talked about shaft options. The faster your swing speed, the, the greater resistance you want to have in the flex of your shaft, so you want to have a firmer flex. The slower your swing speed, you want to have a greater potential for flex in your shaft. So that's why if you look on shaft labels of manufacturers, you'll see S for, C, for uh, stiff. Um, in a lot of cases, uh, the senior flex will be notated by either an A, I've heard people say adult to be kind. Um, I've also, like on, on ping, a lot of people will confuse SR for meaning senior, but all that is is soft regular. So there's no shame in having age and still playing golf. You know, we love it that you're still doing this. So, you know, we don't want to sit here and, and label you that you know, you're the senior that can't accomplish things because a lot of you can play some really good golf out there and there's nothing wrong with being older in age. You're wiser. Things are better that way. So, when we're talking about swing speed now, I'm going to jump back and I'm going to hit a couple of shots for us and we're going to look at ball speed. And this is going to give us an indication of trajectory and, and our actual launch. So, on purpose, I'm going to swing my normal speed and then I'm going to take another swing or two where I'm going to slow things down and we'll look at the trajectory that is presented on the, the screen to help us understand, all right, well, this shaft that I'm playing um, with a slower swing speed may not be a good match. So here I'll go ahead and swing my stiff flex hybrid and if we look at trajectory ball flight was very high up in the air um, and it landed very soft I'll go ahead and hit another one again kind of right on the same pattern um, nice high loft trajectory, pretty much right on top of the previous shot. Now, I'm going to intentionally swing a little bit slower. Now, I should have predicated that my normal swing speed was uh, faster, but I'm dealing with a lower back issue, so I'm not going to hurt myself on film here. Um, so, we looked at ball speed. Um, on these shots, I'll go ahead and hit another one just so that we can get it. But I'll swing slower this time. 
So that was a lot slower and it came off a lot lower. Now, you'll notice that the ball flight basically almost was cut in half on trajectory. Now here I'm going to take one even slower And if we look at it, you know, there's control there, but it's definitely a noticeable difference lower in trajectory. So if you find yourself battling trajectory shots where it just routinely just goes so low, you hate hitting shots over water, um, you hate hitting shots over elevated green, basically if there's anything between you and the target that could deter your ball from getting there besides rolling, um, we want to talk about higher lofted clubs and how they can help you accomplish what you need paired with a suitable shaft that fits your swing speed. So I hope you like what you saw today and please like and subscribe for more. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.